Hello and welcome to the tutorial on fractions. And in this tutorial we are going to go through subtracting fractions. So let's begin by reading the question we're going to be working through. Calculate three and a half minus one and two thirds. So we have three and a half minus one and two thirds. Now again, the first thing to notice is that this is a two mark question. So you have to show all your workings out. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to go through this step by step. And all the steps I'm going to write in yellow. You do not need to write all of these down, but make sure you follow through the principles. Now the first step is to convert the mixed numbers now the mixed number is simply a number and a fraction together convert the mixed number let's put an s at the end convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions and this is slightly different from when we worked on adding fractions. So how do we do this? Well the three and a half becomes, if we leave it over two, becomes seven over two. Three and a half becomes seven over two. The minus and the one and two thirds and that becomes three times one is three plus two is five thirds. So we have rewritten the question as seven halves minus five thirds. So that's the first step. Now the second step, let's write this down, is to find the common denominator. Find the common denominator. Now we know that the denominator we have, the two denominators we have are 2 and 3. Now simply the common denominator here is 6. So let's work through the first fraction. In order for the 2 to equal 6, we have to multiply it by 3. And if we are multiplying the denominator by 3, we have to multiply the numerator by 3. So this becomes 7 times 3 is 21 over 2 times 3 is 6. So this fraction has now become 21 over 6. And now let's work on the second fraction. Now we have 5 thirds. Now the denominator is 3. In order for this to equal 6, we have to multiply it by 2. And if we are multiplying the denominator by 2, we have to multiply the numerator by 2. So let's write this down. This becomes 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. So we have rewritten the question twice. We have now got it as 21 over 6 minus 10 over 6. I'm sure you know what the next step is. The final step, we simply now subtract and simplify. And simplify where necessary. So now we can put all of this over 6. 21 minus 10 is 11. So the answer is 11 sixths. However, we can now simplify it. That simply becomes 1 and 5 sixths. And that is our answer, 1 and 5 sixths. Now it is important to follow through the steps as we go through them. Firstly, convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So this is a different step to when we were adding fractions. The second step is the same, find the common denominator and the third step, subtract and simplify. If you follow all of this, you will get the maximum two marks.